Dragon Age Inquisition has a lot to live up to, especially after the general dislike of Dragon Age 2. Although I personally didn't hate that game. It's easy to say that Dragon Age Inquisition is leagues better than the second game, even if it isn't incredible. The story picks up right after where Dragon Age 2 ends, with an all-out war between the mages and the Templar. Your personally created character ends up becoming special, for reasons, of course. The story itself is okay. It has several great moments peppered throughout, but the overall arc is pretty average. Using the Dragon Age Keep website to format your own personal world based on previous decisions does greatly impact what happens in this game, giving it fantastic replayability and a lot of variety. And it also looks really good, for the most part. It has a huge amount of environments, both indoor and out. Nothing is recycled or reused, and a lot of the outdoor settings are gorgeous. But I can't help but notice how antiquated their engine and style is when it comes to conversations. A lot of animations of people are stiff and awkward, and can create some bizarre cinematics. But the voice acting is superb, and the soundtrack is pretty good. Combat is still a primary focus of the gameplay, and there is plenty of it. It uses the familiar mechanic of using basic attacks, building up a resource meter for your class, and then using special attacks or spells. It's fast paced and filled with action, and it's enjoyable to constantly see damage numbers pop off your enemies' heads. The tactical camera has been reintroduced to the series, and its usefulness is severely limited. The viewpoint it gives isn't always the best, especially when used in any indoor environment. It's handy for when you need to pause to use a potion or cast an integral spell, but otherwise I found myself preferring to be in combat first hand. The AI parameters you can set for your comrades are disappointingly limited, not really allowing for extremely strategic play, but they are competent enough to handle themselves without guidance. You'll be fighting a lot as you venture through the different areas. The game isn't truly open world, rather it has several MMO-like zones that can be freely explored. These zones are also filled to the brim with a crap ton of quests. There is no shortage of things to do in every area. However, most of these quests don't have a whole lot of substance to them. A good majority of the quests do not have a strong contextual reason for doing them, and even more of them basically boil down to run to this location, press X, get a reward maybe. Most of these also involve battling something before you can complete it. That isn't to say they aren't enjoyable, as you typically get additional codex lore or equipment from doing these. Even if it is mostly busy work, I still found myself doing almost all the quests I could possibly do before moving on. The customization is great. Weapon and armor crafting is strangely addicting, as different schematics provide different looking equipment, and using different materials changes its look, along with further tweaking its look with add-ons. Of course, you also get your numerous upgradable abilities, plus a specialization class, and additional perks from the Inquisition War Table. The War Table allows you to send out agents to perform numerous tasks to assist and reward the Inquisition. You can unlock new areas, find new party members, get additional weapons or cash or crafting materials. These take real time, and it's very cool. It actually makes you feel like the leader of a movement, sending out your staff and getting reports back or being the grand judge of people on trial. It's one of the most well done aspects of the game. For as good as a single player campaign is, I wasn't blown away by it. Like I said before, the story, while well paced, isn't spectacular. And yeah, there is tons and tons and tons of stuff to do, but a lot of it sure feels shallow more than anything meaningful. And the combat doesn't offer up much variety or challenge, unless you fight one of the many dragons which is always a delight. The same cannot be said for the afterthought that is the multiplayer. The concept of a cooperative Dragon Age mode is very exciting, but this is as shallow as it gets. You select a pre-made character, fight through three different settings, killing enemies, picking up small amounts of gold, and maybe getting an item. Items are mostly obtained from purchasing chests, which can be bought with in-game gold that you slowly accumulate, or with platinum, which uses real money. Earning gold and progressing is aggravatingly slow, making it obvious that they're trying to nudge you to spend real money. It's painfully clear that multiplayer was only shoehorned in because they found a way to monetize it. If you want this game for some co-op action, you'll be extremely disappointed at how limited it is. 
Also, I should really note that the single player campaign is not without its own blemishes. There are minor things like the character physics sometimes sending you flying during combat, or a background character freezing up during a conversation, but I frequently suffered a bug in which dialogue could not continue unless I skipped parts of the conversation. Usually integral lines, too. I kept reloading save files and kept encountering the same bug every time. One was so bad that the dialogue froze up completely and I could not continue. I also had a cutscene not trigger after a boss fight, which meant I couldn't keep playing the game. Note that I played the PlayStation 4 version, so at the very least, you should expect some of these happening for you. These are annoying, but they really don't subtract from what is a great game. It has plenty of solid combat, lots and lots of customization, cool Inquisitor actions, and crap tons of quests, and a story that is just good enough to keep you interested. It does lack complexity in a lot of areas, such as the quests themselves, the combat, and the AI, but it's still good. Its biggest downfall is the lackluster multiplayer, as that really should have been something way cooler than it is. But still, it's a great game. Dragon Age Inquisition earns an 8 out of 10. I've already sunk dozens and dozens and dozens of hours of my life into this game, and I look forward to doing it again as a different character. Who bangs Iron Bowl?